Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. All right, so when it comes to the counter, right? I didn't go crazy. Just little pieces to add to the counter to just spruce it up, to spice it up, to give it a little zhuzh, right? So I got a trivet, trivet. We learned how to pronounce it last week. I got a trivet from Sir La Table. It's holding my salt and my sugar and my olive oil and my measuring cup. It's really cute. I love the color. It's not quite the design that I wanted because I didn't really, I didn't realize I had the lines on top when I was ordering it until I got here. and. I hate returns like online returns i hate it uh but it is a color that i wanted because a lot of the wood in my kitchen is light wood and that's more of a like a walnut one walnut wood it was on sale during the black friday sales 25 dollars can't go wrong and then i got um the measuring cup from crayon barrel from the lee and ford line i love a lot of stuff that she does with them like it's really nice but i'm not going to use it to actually measure anything i'm actually going to use it to hold food and certain ingredients when i'm prepping whether if it's seasoning chop onions chopped garlic whatever and i love how organic it is it look hand painted it's really really nice i got the wet glass jars from also create and barrel it's more organized it's pretty in the cabinet instead of having all these different baggies i definitely want to get more of the wet to put all the rest of my grains in and it's really pretty to put your grains in like a nice glass jar or a nice plastic jar preferably glass because it's healthier uh even though i have my rice in the plastic jar but it's okay i like how it pours out um, and I like that the container actually because you can put cereal and you can put oats and you can put so many things in there. And another thing that I added that's kind of unusual but it's really beautiful aesthetically, the lamp, right? And I love this lamp. I got this lamp for my birthday years ago, $25. And when I got it, it was like an old, worn, rustic, it was very rusty, like bronze color. This is old. And I just dusted it off, wiped it down, and spray painted it with gold because why not, right? It is gorgeous. The baby industry is an industry it is a business and they always want to sell you something you need this and you need that and you need this half of the time you don't need half of the crap that they are they're referring or they are recommending because our ancestors and our grandmothers they didn't have half of the crap that we have now and they may do right so not that i'm saying we should go through the struggle like they did but some things are not necessary so i'm going to share the things that i've been using that is like a necessity in my household for the baby okay let's get started first things first the docketot bro my son has never not been in that docketot since he came home the docketot is so perfect it's literally a mini bed it's nicely padded we use it every single day and what i love too you can remove the exterior fabric and wash it i just recently washed this we carry it to the bed we carry it to the couch we carry it upstairs we carry it downstairs and it's so portable that you can just take it to a uh, uh, family's house if you're going over like the docketot, you need that, okay? When you have to take a shower, when you have to clean up, like, the baby just loves to lay in there, cool, laugh, play, and just do his own little thing. Another item that we, I've been using, or we've been using a lot, that is like, yeah, we, we need that, um, is the bouncer. We use the Baby Beyond bouncer. When I'm in the kitchen, I have to cook, and I cannot leave him downstairs. I bring him up, I, and I don't want to bring the docker top because the couch is all the way down there or whatever. And I need him to be in the kitchen with me so I could. So he, because no, he's a baby. He just got here two months ago. So he's like, he still, whenever he doesn't smell me or whenever I'm too far, he start crying. It's like, okay, where is everybody? Like, I'm alone. So I need him to, he needs to be in the same vicinity as me. So I put him in the bouncer, and then as long as he's in the bouncer, strapped in, strapped in, and he's in the kitchen with me, everything. And you could, I mean, the other day he had he allowed me to prep my food for like two hours without crying because he was in the bouncer chilling getting miss pacifier your homie was chilling so i love that bouncer and from time to time i'll go put my foot on the bouncer bounce a little bit to entertain him and he's good to go very another thing very light it's foldable you can carry it anywhere if somebody is babysitting like a family you can take it and give it to them like you know it is another one that you can put him in He's taken care of. You don't have to worry about him slipping out or anything. And you can be hands free and get what you need to get done. And we need a coffee break because if you know, you know. You ain't getting them asleep with a newborn. <laughs> Next one's the hatch machine. Oh my gosh. That hatch machine, at first, I used to keep it in his room, right? And <laughs> when I used to go change his diaper, I would turn it on to calm him down because he cried. Yo, when I tell you homie will be hysterical, 
He just, I feel like if he could speak English, he would have been like, yo, turn that crap off. Like, miss, I'm trying to sleep. I already don't like the fact that you changed my diaper. And you want to turn on some, what is this? When I tell you to cry, so I turned it off. He just yelled at me. So I'm just like, all right, I'm not going to do this. Then I had the bright idea, ding, to keep it in our bedroom where we keep his bassinet. And all night, we keep it on. You know, at first I didn't have the light on, but I started to have the light on. Like, I would do the the sound the, the sound of the waters, like rain and waterfalls and whatnot. And yo, I have a confession. I love it. Not for him, but for me, bro. Like, when I say, I be knocked out with that thing on. And it goes on all day. I think that hatch been on for about two weeks straight now without ever turning it off because I love the sound of rain I love like when it's raining oh my gosh I need to be in my house I need to be in my bed like it's just it gets I get oh so cozy I love it when I tell you it put me to sleep fast and it put him to sleep okay so thank you hatch all right I know it's for babies but for adults too because it's working for me and when I do after I finish feeding him and I have to pump you know sometimes you end up waking up because like, you've been doing so much that had to put me right back to sleep, okay? So that hatch, get that. Get that. It does what it needs to do. The next item that, that we use all the time, the Aiden and Anaya swaddle blankets. Our baby loves to swaddle, so we use it all the time. Even if he's not swaddling, we use it as a blanket. Um, shoot, sometimes I'll use it to cover <laughs> cover myself when I'm holding him. Like, it's cute, it's light, it's good material. Um, we've watched it so many times, so um, so many times, and it has yet to fade on us. Like, I love it. Okay, it is worth the price. It is worth the money. I think it was like fifty dollars for a pack of four. It is worth it. I would get more if I needed more. I don't need it, but I would get more because it's so freaking good. Next thing that we use a lot, especially now that he's under the weather, is the Freedom Mom Humidifier. It, it helps moisturize the air because, you know, living where I'm living, it gets it gets really cold and the air is very, very dry. So it moisturizes um, the space. You put I put essential oils, especially now that he's sick. Eucalyptus, um, um, what you call it? Tea tree, rosemary, uh, clary sage, you know, whatever. I put all that in there to help clear his airways. So, and that thing goes for long, okay. Literally, if I fill it up for the the whole container up, it'll go for a day and a half, nonstop. Like it goes for long. The only thing is because it's a humidifier and a diffuser, when you put your oils in, it's not as potent as a regular diffuser would be, which makes sense because now you're mixing, mixing it with water and it's bigger. I mean, you mix a regular diffuser with water, but it's bigger um, and the water amount is a lot, way, way more than the regular diffuser. So, you know, it's not as potent as a regular diffuser, but it does what it needs to do because when I walk out the bedroom and I go back in, I could definitely smell the peppermint in the room and it definitely clears my airways. Next one is the Skip Hop Changing Pad. OMG, what would I do without you? What can I say? It's a changing pad that I love. <clears throat> it does what it needs to do. It's rubber, so it's easy to clean. Um, you know, even with the stain, after a while, it comes off. Um, it's soft, like it's great. I don't have much to say about it apart from it is great. We use it literally every single day. It's easy to clean. One thing I have on baby list that I did not get was the changing pad, but it's like a cover to put on top of the pad. Um, I didn't get it, um, but I regret not getting it. But I ended up using like a receiving blanket as the cover for the pad because the only reason is when you when the baby was first born. Their poop is, especially for breastfeeding, I don't know how it looks when there's formula, but their poop is very, uh, and I, well, it's probably the same thing, but I don't know how often they poop. When they're best breastfeeding, they poop a lot, and their, the color of the poop was like curry. It's hard to compare it to food, but it's like curry, and it stains. It's like very, very yellow, highlighted yellow, and it stains. So one thing I noticed is when I didn't put a pad on, it was staining the the pad. I didn't put like a, a sheet on it. It was not even a sheet, but like some type of cover. It was staying in the pad, and it took a little bit to get off, come off. So that's why I started using. I was like, dang, I should have got that uh, 
disposable pad I was looking into, but I just start, I just use a receiving blanket as the cover and it's washable, so it's more sustainable that way anyway. Um, another reason why I think you should also get another, like a sheet to cover the pad is, I mean, depending on where you live, but in the nighttime here, it's, it get really, it's, it's cold, period. We in winter, it's cold, and in the nighttime when you put them on the pad, the pad is actually cold, and that kind of shocks them and wake them up. So when you have that um, barrier, which is the sheet or some type of cover, it's a it's warmer, so it's a nice transition from their bassinet or crib to the changing pad. So I definitely would recommend getting some type of cover with the changing pad, so it's not such a shock for the baby and wake them up in the night because it's so cold. And plus, you're not trying to stain your um, changing pad. So that's another one that I definitely recommend. The next thing that is a necessity or is necessary in your arsenal, baby arsenal, is a dapper caddy. First of all, just like, all right, why do you need this? But it's a, yes, you do. It's a great organizer, okay? We keep all the diapers in there. We keep all the rash creams in there. We keep all the medical tools like a syringe for the nose or thermometer for to check a temperature. It's so easy. It's right with the changing pad easy reach everything you need is there it's like you don't have to like go to the end of the room to get something or go to the other end of the room to get something everything you need is right there so i definitely recommend a diaper caddy it doesn't cost that much i, I think we got ours from amazon somebody blessed us with that and it was like what 25 dollars. get it you need it and it's foldable i like the cloth one because one that's not too stiff because it could actually maneuver and move around and it's foldable pack it up and you're done you know once we don't need it anymore just boom store it away right so definitely recommend a diaper candy next thing we use the uh, you need the diaper pail okay i know there is the oh, what's that one called diaper genie we didn't get that one because it is plastic and i want to get something more um sustainable like a metal one you know um something more long lasting so we got the ubi baby or ubi bear diaper pail it does what it needs to do and another reason I like the Ubi Bear one is like I didn't have to get a special bag. I could use my regular garbage bag and that's what it needs to do. Whereas the the other one that I just mentioned, you need it comes with a special bag. And granted, I know the special bag lacks the scent in and all that stuff. Great, but right now the Ubi Ubi, Ubi diaper pail, the scent doesn't ex, um escape the um the pail, so you know still get the same job done and then when you close it you can also lock it so let's say when the child get older it's not like they can open when they start walking and being curious by everything they can't open it and just dig their hands in the nasty garbage with diapers wet diapers so it locks and i love that about that so um yeah i would definitely recommend a uh, diaper pail um because them diapers they stink and they're heavy and they stink Next up are breast pumps. We end up getting the Spectrum. If you don't know, if you have insurance, your insurance could pay for that, okay? So through my insurance, we got this, well, let not say we, I got the Spectrum clubs because obviously I'm the one freaking breastfeeding. I got the Spectrum. I love the Spectrum. The suction on the Spectrum is great. It is wonderful. The bottle is great. Um, it does what it needs to do. It has many levels of suction. If one doesn't work or if it is not sucking hard enough, there are other, you could go levels higher, I think it goes up to 10. I love it. I see why a lot of people rave about it. I see why people usually go for the Spectra. It does what it needs to do. It comes with two bottles. So, you know, you do what you gotta do quickly. Um, I don't know if it, the only thing I noticed is that, I don't know if the nipple, it comes with different sizes of nipples, because nipples, we all don't have the same size nipples, but I don't think, I don't remember ever seeing that in the, in the, um, in the box. And if I, if there is one, my apologies, but I think that's the only downside about the Spectra. It doesn't have different nipple sizes. Um, so if your nipples don't fit, then Houston, we got a problem. Another one that I recently just got and I love is the Mama Cozy. Oh, no, it's the Mom Cozy Portable Breast Pump. Oh, yo. It is so good. It is so good. I'll be at work because I went back to work. You know, I'll be at work and I have it in granted. I have my boobs look like this. Like, it looked like it looked like I did not go to Dr. Miami. It looked like I went to Dr. Mississippi because it looked big and lots. It a mess. But you put it in your bra. Once it's digital, you can change the, um, the suction 
um, pressure on there. Um, you can change it, it massages and pulls milk. And at first, I'm like, oh man, you're gonna mess me up because you're probably not gonna pull all my milk like the Spectra does. You're probably going to do a little bit and have to go back in with the Spectra and get the rest. Boy, was I lied to. That thing does what I need to do. I went back on the Spectra multiple occasions and my boo was like, no, we're done. We gave you everything we got. I was just like, what? Girl, you lie. When I tell you it pulls and the and the container is big. So when usually when I pull, I could pull about I would say the container could go about five ounces. The only thing is it is a little loud, okay? It sounds like a frog. It sounds like a frog. Every time I'm on the phone talking to somebody, I'm like, yo, what is that? What you got in your house? I'm like, it's my phone being extra. But it sounds like a frog. But if you get past that, boo boo, baby. This thing does what to do. It's 180 and I caught it on sale around Black Friday and I got it for like 160. It comes with two. It can buy one if you want. It does what it needs to do. It's rechargeable. It doesn't take batteries. You just charge it. Um, what else? It is great. Um, it's easy to wash. There there aren't too many parts, right? Um, you can pack it with the only thing I wish mom goes you could add to that is a bag you know to put the pumps in so you can travel with it or carry it with you but apart from that's not even a big deal i bought a bag from amazon and put that in there but but that's my suggestion mom cozy if you're watching but yo it is great it is great it is great it is great another one that i recommend another thing that i recommend is these two specific bottles that we love because at first we was using the cot was a como not como like governor como we're not gonna get into that but i think it's called the como it's with a green top and for a month and a half we did not realize what our issue was our baby was so gassy and he struggled with with a lot of he a lot of colic like definitely had colic very gassy hold on i need to take a coffee break because this eye is getting very heavy as we speak new mom life right but he was very colicky, very gassy, always like straining to fart, poop. It just, we couldn't understand. We thought it was food, thought it was milk, and a whole bunch of crap. And then my friend was telling me, maybe we do, we do gripe water, which will help, right? Um, definitely very, very helpful. Um, but it was just like, dang, what is the problem? How do we fix this? I know his stomach is new to this earth and everything that he's getting, but it's like, dang. Then one day, one of my friends has blessed us with a lot of baby stuff that she didn't use. And two bottles was part of it. And one time I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing laundry. One time I'm doing dishes and cleaning all the bottles and I realized. And I saw this one bottle and it has this little small writing on it. So I'm just saying, look close and read. I look close and read that thing. It's an anti colic bottle. I'm like, wait a minute what and days before my friend Ramona and Melissa was just telling me about their specific bottles that help with gas especially for babies that eat fast and don't know how to chill right I said all right I'm gonna go buy, I'm gonna go to Target go look for some and buy some modification it was right under my nose are you serious that's an anti-colic bottle what the? I didn't know that existed I thought it was a gimmick like what are y'all talking about so I made him milk to feed him and that's how I'm gonna use this new bottle I just discovered in my kitchen that been in my kitchen for months yo homeboy was eating it was drinking he was drinking slow you don't hear gas you don't hear air going into the bottle because usually when he used to drink from the other regular bottles you can hear and I'm holding him you can hear the gas in his belly because didn't hear any of that he was dr drinking slower he was way more calm. Yo. Even when I was done those times of burping, it was barely any burp that came out because it was less gas that went in. I'm like, get out. Are you serious? And something was like, there's another bottle in there that looked kind of funny shape and funny design. Let me go check it out and see what that says. It's the M Mum, M U M. I go look at it and I read it. Another one. Ain't I got been suffering in the darkness for all these months and the answer was right there yo that remind me of god yo you know how sometimes god be trying to help you out 
be like, no, God, I got this, I got this, I'll do this myself. And you'd be suffering for man long. And then when you finally give in, you gotta do something like this, and you're just like, dang, I couldn't get my prayers answered. I couldn't got help in my situation. Like yesterday, if I just listened to God and gave in and just allow him to take the wheel and so try to do it on my own strength. Dang, all that suffering for nothing when the answer was right there. That was that was us. Suffering, poor baby suffering, and the answer was right there. Just buy it and have it in your cabinet. Alright? Just buy it and have it in your cabinet because you don't know what kind of baby you're going to get. You don't know what the issue you're going to have. And then if your baby don't use it, he don't use it or she don't use it. But buy it and have it in your cabinet cabinet. So when that problem, if that problem comes around, you already have the answer right in your in your cabinet. Now it's not nine o'clock in the night, you run around Target trying to find something to help your baby out. You know what I'm trying to say? So buy it, keep it and stand by for your baby so you don't go through what we went through. Another item that we love is another swaddle blanket, but it's not even a blanket, it's like a swaddle. We got we have put on our registry, it's a it's like an already made swaddle, and you just put the baby in and just strap them in. And at first, I was just like, What the hell? I'm not doing that to my child, but let me tell you, that didn't work like magic. You put that baby in there, strap them in there, zip it up, and within seconds, he's knocked out, gone back to God like having whole conversations with Jesus I'm telling you that thing works like magic almost immediately get it and once again you never know some kids don't like being swaddled but you don't know what your child is going to like once again get it have it on standby because it saved us many nights it got us a lot of sleep many nights and many days okay so I definitely recommend that and last but not least is the snow yeah I know the snow does what it needs to do Pros and cons. Pros, I love how it moves and have that sound going, that sound like the womb. If you have a kid that loves movement, and let's say your child will not go to sleep unless you get up and walk with him or walk with her, that's when they're going to fall asleep. Once you finish that walking for a little bit and you transfer that baby to that snow, and you hit that button and they start moving, it feels like you're still walking with them and they fall asleep like this. So I definitely recommend it. But it is a lot of freaking money. Fifteen hundred dollars, excluding tax. That's a lot. If you can rent it, rent it. If you have a friend that have it and don't mind sharing or lending it to you, get it that way. I wouldn't recommend taking fifteen hundred dollars to buy this new and run the risk of your child might not might not even like it. That's the thing, cause babies, they're humans. Just like the rest of us, you know, granted just got here, but they have things they like and do not like. I thank God our child liked it. And if he didn't like it, we borrowed it from our friend. It was lended to us, so we don't have to worry about, damn, we spent all that money and he don't really like it. He likes it. But imagine if he spent all that money and your child don't like it. So I would definitely say rent it. I would definitely say if you have a friend that have it, let ask if you can borrow it. Um, because the only th the pro another problem with that price is, the child could only be in that snow for six months. Because once they'll grow once that six months is over and they'll outgrow it, they go in the crib. So imagine spending all that money for six months. Imagine spending that money and your child don't like it. And imagine spend... Not that I'm thinking about it. another thing I don't like this that the stool does is <laughs> it's actually comical. So whenever the baby starts crying, because it I guess it listens. <laughs> I don't like that too much, but once the baby starts crying. It start moving quicker to kind of like almost like how a parent would do this right to um to calm the baby to help them calm down and sleep it does the same thing but because it's not human it cannot always distinguish the baby cooing crying or outside noise so one time he was cooing and he started doing, I said chill out you trying to sabotage us homie and he would just another time he was just moving his sleep and making a little bit of noise and start doing that thing again now the baby my son was actually starting to wake up and i'm just like yo you trying to sabotage us bro he took his man long to put him to sleep now you're about to wake him up because you can't distinguish the difference between a cry a coup and a fire truck right so we had to turn it off <laughs> so those are the flaws about the snoop but it is a great bass net though because it's a nice little bed granted can you find something for cheaper absolutely absolutely <laughs> I like the fact that it does sway from side to side. I like the fact that it got the noise. Yeah, that, those are the things that I feel like, I don't know if I'm missing anything. I might not. I might. I don't know. But, you know, 
we here. We are family. I could always come back and share more, but so far, that's what we are loving so far. That is something that these are the things that we use almost every single day. Actually, every single day, you know. So, um, if you're looking to add stuff to your registry, um, you're wondering what is important, what you need, what is it that you need. These are the things that I believe is a necessity in your home with a newborn. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Hey, that mini bed, you will appreciate it later when um. Yeah, right.